All right, folks, well, good morning and welcome back here to Canoe Creek State Park. Stayed another night here in uh, cabin number two, and this will be hike number two and probably the uh, end of my little Canoe Creek series. So uh, long story short today, we're gonna be climbing a mountain, going to an old church that is now a bat sanctuary. And yes, you heard that right. And uh, we'll also be checking out a old cemetery and hopefully be hiking across a dam. So. Uh, all goes well we should be doing about uh six to seven miles a day here at canoe creek uh if you missed last week's episode we hiked to the old kilns learned a little bit of history from this area so if you get the chance maybe go back and check that out but uh yeah we got a little bit better better weather today no rain a little bit colder but uh, i'll take the cold over the rain so all right well we're gonna hit the trail here and uh the next stop should be the sugar loaf trail so uh i'll see you when i get there to give you a little bit of perspective where we're heading, there's kind of a ridge line directly in front of us right now. I don't know how well it'll show up on camera, but uh, that is what I'm calling Sugarloaf Mountain. So we'll be up there within uh, hopefully the next hour. And supposedly you get some really nice views of Blue Knob. We did a video up there uh, about a year ago. It's, it's actually the second highest point in Pennsylvania. So uh, if I do remember right, you get some nice views of it from on top of uh, Sugarloaf Mountain there. So. All right, folks, well, here is our first little point of interest on our way to Sugarloaf Mountain, which I believe is right here. So this is Canoe Creek and a little history on the area. This state park is one of the newest state parks in Pennsylvania, established back in 1979. It's uh, so a long story short, back in the 70s, the state put a big push on increasing its amount of state parks within the Commonwealth. Uh, a man named Maurice Goddard wanted everybody within the state to be within 25 miles of a state park. So here at Canoe Creek, we're only about uh, 10 miles away from downtown Altoona. So relatively close to a major uh, city or town. But here is a very nice look at Canoe Creek Lake and one of its dams. For some reason, this lake's got like two or three dams, but you can also see a nice view of Sugarloaf Mountain that we'll be heading to. But I did notice an issue. Um, we have to cross this creek as you can see there's a stairway going down there and a stairway heading up there so even on my map that's where we're supposed to go so uh this might get a little uh interesting. i thought this was going to be an easy hike but all right hopefully the next time you see me i'll be across the creek here well here we are at the bottom of the spillway here and this is a first for me obviously no uh bridge so we have one of two options we're either gonna have to cross the water or tightrope our way across the spillway here and i'm gonna choose the spillway so hopefully uh we don't fall in here but just wanted to show you this before something crazy happens well hopefully not but all right i'll see you at the other side hopefully Well, that was a good way to get your adrenaline going first thing in the morning five minutes into the trail but we did make it to dry land on the other side and wow this wind is just ripping through this valley when i was in the middle of the dam there i thought i was going to get blown in uh my thermometer says it's about uh 30 degrees out right now but i'm guessing with the wind chill it's probably down in the uh the mid 20s so definitely a cold day out here i should have brought some gloves but 
it'll warm up throughout the day but yeah we made it across the dam so that'll probably be the most difficult part of the day hopefully All right, well, after hiking along the Sugarloaf Trail for about uh, maybe a quarter mile, if that, we came upon a spur trail, White Blaze Spur Trail, that takes you seemingly to the top of what I am calling Sugarloaf Mountain. And as you can see ahead, nice little seating area. Probably come up here and take a nice little break, checking out the surrounding hillsides and whatnot. I do have a time lapse going, and we will peek on through the trees here and give you a little view. Not uh, that's spectacular, but this view definitely trumps some of the uh, high points that we've, we've done on this channel. And a little interesting fact, I don't know how well you can see it through all the trees, but uh, this blob right here is actually the second highest point, second highest peak in Pennsylvania. That is Blue Knob State Park. And we've camped there, hiked there, explored there. But yeah, how cool is it? That, that little blob there on the distance is the second highest point in Pennsylvania. So yeah, we have officially made it to the top here and behind us, kind of wooded look at uh, Canoe, Canoe Lake there down in the distance. So pretty much 360 views. I'm sure in the summertime, in the springtime, these views probably aren't the best with all the leaves and whatnot. But yeah, I did just want to stop and show you guys the top of Sugarloaf Mountain here. So uh, it's all downhill from here, I guess you can say. Next stop, we'll be heading to uh, the old bat sanctuary, hopefully, so. All right, well, one last thing before we officially descend down Sugarloaf Mountain, or before I get uh, blown down off the top of this mountain due to all the wind. Uh, as you can see, if you look around, you kind of notice all these small, stunted, kind of deformed looking pine trees all over the place. And uh, actually, these are a special kind of pine tree that only grows in the Appalachian Mountains. These are table mountain pines. and. Uh, they don't really get much bigger than this, as you can see. The bark looks pretty much like any other pine tree you see, kind of uh, rough, flaky, and uh, sappy in some spots as well. And uh, another kind of giveaway for these pines are their small pine cones. They have these spikes on them. Here's a good example here. You can see how uh, spiky they are. And of course, you can always count the needles as well. But yeah, this is a new tree ID, the small little table mountain pine here that uh, seemingly love to grow on these mountain ridges. And there's quite a few up here. Thought it was cool, I thought it was worth showing you guys out there. You can see there's like five right in a row here. But uh, yeah, new tree ID for the channel. But uh, we're gonna start descending now and heading on over to the old cemetery and bat sanctuary. Damn! Alright folks, well, we made it to the dam as you can see, and uh, we're going to do a little improvising right now. 
So upon reading the map last night, it looked like I wasn't going to be able to cross this. I thought maybe it was uh, blocked off and there was a fence or something down here, but clearly we're able to. And there is another trail on the opposite side of the dam here. It's called the Fisherman's Path or the Fisherman's Trail. So uh, originally what I was going to do was hike along the Sugarloaf Trail. You can kind of see the trail as it comes down the hill, heads that way and wraps around and uh, we would have to cross that spillway that we crossed about an hour ago once again. Well, with the dam being open, that, uh, that opens uh, some other options today. So like I said, we're gonna be crossing here, doing the fisherman's path, and then heading down to uh, two little ponds known as the beaver ponds. So it will add a couple, couple more miles to today, but uh, I'll be able to show you more of this park and that's uh, what, what it's all about. And then we'll be doing a little hiking on uh, Route 22 before we get to the old cemetery and the uh, the bat sanctuary. So just wanted to show you this nice view here of Canoe Lake, all, I believe 115 acres of it. And this is like the main dam that holds it all back. And you can see where Canoe Creek leaves the lake and heads down towards the south. So really cool view. It almost looks like there's a uh, big old swan out in the lake out there. But all right. I figured I'd show you this probably coolest view yet I've seen of the lake. But we're gonna continue on to the Fisherman's Trail. Well, we have officially traversed the dam and currently this is a view of the Fisherman's Path. So we will link up with the Beaver Pond Trail here in just about a mile, but just wanted to show you some nice views here along Canoe Lake, kind of a tight trail here, some trees and rocky terrain, but not too bad. Really enjoying this park, all kinds of uh, beech trees and pine trees along this side of the lake as you can see but yeah next stop will be the beaver pond trail and uh, one other thing is we will be actually coming back this way and uh, heading back towards the dam once we reach the beaver ponds like I said we'll be hiking along route 22 for a very short period of time before reaching the old church and cemetery so here wanted to see that part of the video stay tuned we'll get there in a couple minutes We have made it clearly to the other side of the lake. Definitely have uh, gained some ground today. Our cabin is way over on that other hillside over there. And uh, if we walk up here a little bit, you can see the dam that we crossed a few minutes ago. So uh, the beaver pond should be right up ahead here. And like I said, we'll be turning around and uh, heading back down towards the dam. But did just want to show you this pretty awesome view of the lake and the surrounding hillsides here. And this place is a ghost town. I've only seen uh, two other people all day on this trail and I'm taking my uh, good old time. It's Saturday. You'd think that there would be more people out, but hey, maybe I'm the only uh, crazy guy that comes out here and deals with this wind and, and the cold, but all right, well, we should be into the beaver ponds here soon. Alright, well, we have made it to pretty much the furthest point that we'll be hiking to today before we start backtracking. Here are the beaver ponds along the beaver pond trail. And it doesn't look like there are any resident beavers here building any dams and whatnot here. I did read on the map that if you're interested in ice skating, these ponds uh, allow it. So if you want to come up here in the wintertime and 
throw on some ice skates and maybe play a game of hockey, this would be the place to do it. So uh, we're gonna head down a little bit further and try to make it to Canoe Creek, the uh, northern part of it, before heading back down towards the dam. Did want to show you a view of the lake here. You can see some of the uh, the posts and whatnot in the water. Good uh, fish habitat. Probably take a kayak kayak out there in the summertime and catch some bass. So, like I said, we're gonna head up this way, maybe for about a half a mile longer. Try to get to uh, Canoe Creek and then turn around and head on down to that uh, bat sanctuary. So stay tuned for that. Just a quick view here of Canoe Creek that eventually forms Canoe Lake there just in uh, in the distance. So I figured this would be a good time to turn around. The trail is getting pretty darn muddy. So if you do this, make sure you wear the right uh, footwear and whatnot. I'm sure in the summertime, this is probably snake infested being it's so close to the lake and all kinds of marshes and whatnot along the way. So yeah, we're gonna turn around and head back towards the dam here. But yeah, one last look at Canoe Creek. We seen it last week from the opposite side. So if you missed that video, make sure you go check that out. But all right, we're gonna start our trek back to uh, Route 22 to do a little road hiking before making it to Old Canoe Creek Cemetery, I believe it's called, so. All right, folks, well, this video is getting a little longer than I uh, originally anticipated. So we will wrap up this video here at the Beaver Ponds and continue our journey to the bat sanctuary next week so stay tuned it's going to be a good one i will see you back here next friday maximum outdoors signing out from state park number 24 canoe creek and as always if you enjoyed the episode if you're new here hit that subscribe button it helps me out hit the like button as well uh, check me out over on Facebook and Instagram, both at uh, Maxim Outdoors. And like I said, we'll see you back here next week at the Bat Sanctuary. All right, see you guys.